Okay, time to see it at the top of this big room. Yeah, I figured there'd be something way up here. Hmm. Peculiar. How... How would one get up there? Interesting. The only way I could think of is that we need to break it open. Break open a secret passage somewhere. Maybe we have to break it open from here. I, I don't know. Can we, like, knock the bell down in this room and it smashes through here? That is interesting. I... Yep, I am just not sure how to get in there. Um... So right now, I don't really feel like going to fight that carpenter, just because the, the chore it took just to get out of there, get back to the warp room. I say we're just gonna go fight a G-Bull and see what happens. This door. For, is that the door that needs the key? Let's just double check real quick. I think this. Is, yeah, that's the door that needs the key. Which we have ne not found any of the stupid keys that go in these doors, and that's ridiculous. Got a new uh, chest armor. I got, uh, got, I did crafting and made this. It's pretty good defense. So, yeah. The sound it, it makes is like a stumper. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the, the washer. Yeah, that keeps making me think of my phone's ringing and my purse. I swore to you. Wait a minute, it's in my pocket. As you wish. Next time. Yes, that tone in there is not awesome. Right. <laughs> Okay, I thought something new was happening, but I guess not. With that many shards. So we need to dump some of our shards, is that what I gather? This is something I'll have to look up.
Okay. I actually need to go buy those stupid potions again, because I didn't save after getting the potions. Probably should have even saved before going into that fight. I really hate how the potion system works in this game. Just I give me... Just give me reset potions every time I save, like in every other Metroidvania. It is so annoying to have to keep going here and buying potions. Especially with how frickin' slow she moves. This is my other- I'm not gonna sell this weapon, because that's my is other good right? weapon. And I feel you. like my current katana just swings right? slower. So I think after we do this story bit, I'm gonna switch back to is that weapon. Right? Is this right? All right. What are you looking to buy? Is this right? Many thanks. Thank you. Okay. There is a save. Yeah, it's literally directly beneath. I could have easily gone in there. I should still have my good armor, though. So I was on the right track. I just did not do the right thing. And the real answer is a tad cryptic. do is wait for the moon to turn red. Right now it's yellow. And that's why the sky has such easy attacks to avoid, because it makes this part so much better. I don't know if we actually had to will down his HP before the moon turns red, or if it's just a time limit. I mean, I guess I could fight him a little bit, just to be sure. What are you doing? You're not even trying to fight me, you're just jumping around, as if you're waiting for something. Stupid, but it didn't do much damage. Oh, okay, this is... Okay, so this is what happens when he grabs you there. He still didn't do that much damage. that attack going a while. Take this. 
do this too. Can you even get me? Okay, like some of your attacks can reach me, but this actually makes things even easier. Well, first I thought maybe it has to be upside down, and then the moon turns red. Still really don't know what to do here. Is it a matter of HP? Do I need to attack you enough before the moon turns red? What if I do, like, the blood steal? You gotta do blood steal on the moon to make it turn red. That's not the answer. I don't want to whittle his HP down so much that I kill him and then ruin my chance of this happening. So I don't know if that's the answer. I should look up for better clarity. Another person said you do need to attack him before the moon turns red. Because waiting seems to do nothing. Ah! Okay, that seemed a little... unique. He never used that attack in other attempts, but that didn't turn the moon red either. I thought he was gonna, like, summon his... Like, servant or something, no. Aha! There! Good, we did the right thing. We, we cut the moon. Alright, that took a lot longer than it should have. You made it. You kept your promise. What's going on? It's it's better this way. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, I just want to get moving. It shouldn't have come to this, my friend. I am if you are. Yes. I have a new... If you plan to destroy the castle, you will... Then I need to track down Al... Gremory will be after him, too. Tracking Gremory might be faster. The moon, you mean? I'll try it. Yeah. Okay. I vividly know 
where to go next. But I will double check it. Games, so we don't want to do that nonsense again. They're still not going to give me 80%. What a mean game you are. Wasn't there like another... Oh yeah, yeah, there's actually a place down here, but there's like no easy way to get to it. I mean, no fast way anyway. Alright, I'm going to double check. So our next target is here in this room, where our good little uh, horseman is. There's the moon, all right. Yeah, you do have a good view of the moon here. Is it what we want? Doesn't feel quite right. Check this again.
dolly. Ah. Okay, that first walkthrough was extremely misleading. It's not this room we need to be in. In fact, I actually remember the, this uh, room we need to be in now. It's this hallway that was an extreme shade of scarlet. That's where we need to be. That's why it's like this. Oh, yes. I should remember that. Is that actually the game's logo? I feel like that is. <laughs> Den of Behemoths. Awesome. Okay, it is just way up here in this empty space. That's clever. Finally, a new area. Please let me save. Okay, I want to go this way first. Just see if we can find a save point or something. Holy frick, those puzzles were crit. It's like a double wide door, interesting. Hello! Well, I guess this is the right way to go. in an expedient manner. She would instead. She divided our strength. Alfred was never trying to get it off. I'm not sure I was a little suspicious about her. You misunderstand. Because you were the most attuned to what? Of all the humans transplanted with crystal, Alfred feared you would. Then why didn't he say so? Would you have believed him? And even if you had been inclined to listen, what do you think Dominique is plotting? As I said, I know not. Miriam? Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Alfred? He must have known he would not leave here alive. <laughs> yeah, right now we need to find a save room. Johannes. Yes. Don't let us begin. She can't be far. <laughs> I have a way of... She knows I have given up the Zengatsu toe. That is when you strike. I will go on ahead. Uh, you might be a s sacrifice then. <laughs> Do much of anything. I'm sorry, I can't be of more help. I will. I'll be in the village. Yep, yep, back where you usually are. Make sure to craft some good weapons for me. Okay. Please give me a save room. like the upgraded version of that dude. Actually, you know what? I'm changing my weapon back. 
because I don't think we need to slash the moon anymore. Oh, yeah, this weapon is just so much better, actually. It does more damage, even though it didn't look like it at first. Hello. Thanks for a giant chest with the same amount of money as before. I don't get why these doors are, like, double, double the width. Like, yeah, everything here is just gigantic. That's weird. Even the semi-solid is gigantic. <laughs> this is a weird... Weird design choice. Okay, this door is normal size. It's a weird design choice. Oh, jeez! Yeah, you're just... I'm stuck inside you, in fact. Okay. You're just a... Yeah, just giant versions of all these... Enemies. Wow. Yeah, I was just not expecting that. Well, it just makes me like the game even more. I just love the... love all the creativity here. So I bet we'll find a save point next to a giant bookcase or something. I was starting to think if I had headed right from the start, I would have actually found the save room. Thank you. Just give me some giant money, I guess. Well, oh, geez. It's you again. Okay, but you still give me the same shard as the normal enemy. The, the giant toads. Oh, that's just what I wanted to see. And the bats, too, at that. Get me. <laughs> oh, free waystones. Thank you for being generous. Why don't you give me free potions while you're at it? I'm sorry, how do I get- okay. Alright, killed one of the giant bats at last. Okay. Okay, so I meant to utilize my thing here. Oh, and now I'm dying. Alright, great, great. Now, if they don't give me a save room, I will just have to freaking warp back or something. Well, I know I already know I've lost this race, so let's just... Let's keep going as we are. So this is, wow, this is just a huge dead end, quite literally a huge dead end. 
Well, I think I'm already going to put those waystones to use. We need to save. Then when I go back there, I can just go the other way. I don't suppose I have any kill list things. No. So who's going to sell me the potions? If Dominique is like a bad guy. Oh, it's... Alright, the, the kid's sidekick is running the shop now. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, she said she had something to take care of. I'm holding down the fort while she's gone. Oh, good girl. But who will handle these shots for me? Oh, oh don't worry. She taught me how to do it. Yeah, you're an apprentice. What? That sounds horribly unsafe. <laughs> well, try me. You'll see. Okay, your dialogue doesn't match your text. <laughs> I think someone made an error there. What would you like to buy? Well, I'll buy this another potion since so I can afford it. Just cash it if you're paying attention, that's all. What? They're just trying to see if you're paying attention. <laughs> yeah. You're reading along. This is <laughs> Thank you. Oh! Like, I think earlier in the game, I half suspected Dominique would betray us, but then I, then I was like, but she runs one of the most pivotal shops, so she couldn't. But no, they just have her kid psychic take over her shop while she turns traitor. <laughs> That's a common theme anymore. 84%. I just watched a 